starting off with Makeup Forever HD foundation. My color is in 123. This is an awesome foundation because there is no SPF in it so it's really nice for taking pictures. Um, and I've had this foundation for quite some time. I actually forgot about it. But I do love it. It's one of my oldies but goodies. So I'm just going to apply that all over my face using uh, Sigma F80. Next, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm using Anastasia Brow Wiz in Brunette. Since I dyed my hair lighter recently, I am going to go over it with um, this brow gel by Anastasia as well in Brunette. Just lightens them just a tad so that it matches my hair better. And of course it also keeps my eyebrows in place. Then I'm going to take the most amazing eyeliner of life and that's Milani's Perfect Purple. Perfect Purple. It's a purple color of course but it has like some shimmers in it that just makes it really really pretty. Just make sure that it's sharpened so that you can apply it really easily to your eye. I just love it, it's so gorgeous. And you can just blend it out with whatever you have. I'm using a brush here just because I was being a diva, but you can definitely just use your fingers. I went back several times with the pencil, I blended it out and then I reapplied again just to make sure that the purple is most intense at the base of your lashes. Then I went into my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette and I took the color Toxic and I'm going to apply this to the inner corners of the eyes. Then I also took this color called Rewind, which is a matte brownish color, and I just put that into my crease. Then I wet my brush with Max Fix Plus and I did this because I wanted to get as much pigment as I could from this purple color right here. It's called Voodoo and I just put that over the entire part of my eye where I put the pencil down. Rock Pro palette I just took the black which is a matte black and I just put that on the outer, outer corners of my eyes I was using a pencil brush just to have more precise application of it and I'm just gonna really concentrate that on the outer corners and then I'm gonna take a blending brush and blend it out and then I'm gonna apply a little bit more I also took this color called Betrayal. It's like a purpley blue. It's like a purple with some iridescence, blue iridescence. And I just put that into the crease for fun. And then I just went back with the black just to intensify that a little bit more. Then 
then I took a little bit of habit and I put this um, on my brow bone just to clean up the edges a little bit and what is a new year's look without some glitter so here I'm taking reflex purple duo by Mac very excited oh yeah and I'm just gonna apply that with my finger over the purple After that's done, I'm going to apply concealer. I took NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard and I just put that underneath my eyes and I blended it out with a brush. This is Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. This concealer creases very, very fast if you don't set it. So I've only used it a couple of times, but I do know that you have to definitely set it right away. So I'm going to take Bare Minerals mineral veil and I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes just to set that concealer. <music> to set my foundation I took NARS translucent crystal powder and I put that all over my face. And then I took Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and I used this to contour and bronze up my face and I like this a lot and I feel like I'm cheating on Benefits Hula but I have to say I really 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 like this bronzer. Then I just did a very thin line of liquid liner. I'm using L'Oreal's The Super Slim. I didn't want to cover up any of the glitter I put down, so really, really tiny amount. For blush, I took Benefit's Hervana which is a really pretty rosy color. It just gives your cheeks a nice healthy glow and I just put that on the backs of my cheeks. I also added this white eyeshadow from the Lorac Pro Palette just because I felt like my eyeshadow was looking a little dull and then as soon as I added that white eyeshadow it just really made the purple pop. So I put that underneath my brows. And then I just took the same pencil that I used before, the Milani pencil, and I just blended it out with a MAC 239. I then took this NYX Glam Liner in 24 karat just because I thought it would match my dress if I added a little bit of gold so I just put that right underneath my lash line And I'm also going to pop on these lashes. These are Ardell accents and they're, they look like that. They're very 
natural looking and you just put them on the outer corners of your eyes and it just gives you like a really pretty flirty look but it doesn't look over the top and again I didn't want to cover up any of the glitter or the purple and sometimes when you add in really intense eyelashes you can tend to do that so that's why I opted for these. For lipstick, I chose Maybelline's Vivid in Pink Pop. I didn't want to go with a nude just because I always do and I wanted to have fun with my New Year's look. So I chose this really pretty pink. It's very vibrant, but it's really, really pretty. Finishing touch, I did add a little bit of highlighter. I took Max Whisper of Guilt. I believe this was limited edition. It's from the Extra Dimension collection, but it's always being re-promoted. Um, it's just a really pretty highlighter. So that is all for the makeup. I also thought it'd be fun if I just shared with you guys what I was going to wear with my makeup. I chose these earrings from Express. The bracelet is from Charming Charlie. And my shoes, I think they're from Aldo or Baker's. I can't remember, but definitely from either or. And my dress is um, also from Express. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun doing it. And I hope that you have an amazing new year. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.